I've made a lot of jewellery this year over 2022 and I thought I'd share with you my top 10 pieces of jewellery that I love the best. Coming in at number 10 is the mirror paint. I love these paints and it came with some metallic paints as well. We'll list everything in the description below and the links to all the full videos if you want to see what I actually do and how I do it. Popped it in the resin, give it a twirl around. I think it's come out brilliant. This is the great thing about experimenting with resin. You can try all different things in it and it'll give you some wonderful effects. I love the metallic look of this one. Coming in at number nine is the stamps on resin. Now I pour myself a resin base here. This is epoxy resin with glitter in, of course. Why wouldn't I use glitter? And then what I've got is some nice flat bits that I can use normal card stamps or silicon stamps on. I used the cotton bud to put the ink on because that way I could get it on much more neat and carefully and stamped on it. You could colour that in or like I'm doing here, you could do some freehand painting using paint. Some great effects with this and it gives unique pieces of jewellery that you can play with and sell or give away to friends. Here are the ones with the stamps. I love how they've come out. This is the sweet one. So this is a sweet heart. So it's for my sweet heart. Here they are all finished and made up. Again, really pleased with them. I think this is my favourite piece out of all of them. The hand painted one. It just looks a little bit different and unique. And of course, I have to model one as well. In at number eight is the resins in ribbons. Now this is a little bit fiddlier. I use some acetate slices that I'd cut nice and thin and then put resin on them and allowed them to cure. And while they're still a little bit soft, you can play around with them. You can mold them into shapes. And this is what I did here. Just molded it into this heart, popped it in, and then took off what I didn't use on a bit of tape here. I'm making another shape as well. And once it's fully cured up, it will stay in those shapes. It only needs a couple of hours to fully cure up. And then you can use it in your resin. Pour in my epoxy resin in and you can embellish it as well. For instance, adding stars or glitter or anything that you want to add to it. Here I've got different shapes that I'm putting in with this metallic base. And then letting that cure up. And once it's all cured up, I think you'll agree, it comes out really unique and nice. And again, this is it all made up. That bit there reminds me of licorice, that black and white one. Yum, yum, yum. And number seven is the silver leaf in resin. Now, I love silver leaf and I love gold leaf. And if you buy my kit, it comes with a pot of silver and gold leaf, as well as all the resins and moulds that you need. And this is actually a mould from my kit. Really dries up lovely and hard, cures up beautifully and hard. And again, I think there's something opulent and luxurious about gold and silver leaf in resin. And I think you'll agree these have come out looking great. So you get all this and a lot more in my kit. Coming in as number six is the resin cells in jewellery. Now, making cells in resin is really easy. All you need to do is get yourself some layers like this. Contrasting colours, I think, work better. Get a little micro brush, dip it in alcohol, 99% alcohol, and then push it in. And look at those beautiful cells that come up. Really does work wonders. And you can dome that up. You can use glitters in it, all sorts of things. And they look beautiful when they're on as well. Don't forget links for everything are in the description below, including the video links. In at number five, bubble wrap. I love this. I love a bit of bubble wrap. All I'm using is mica powders on this. This was a really popular video and the actual longer video really shows you how to cast the bubble wrap first and then how to cut it. So check that one out. I did a mixture one and I also did one where I painted over each one of the bubbles and then cast it. And once it's cast, all you need to do is cut the actual cast bubble wrap into the sizes that you wanna put in. And then all you need to do then is drill a little hole through it, pop that in a mold and then fill it with resin. I like these, they're really quite industrial looking and I think they've come out great. In at number four, white sand in resin. This is a very fine sand that I've put into the resin. It's a good way of saving your money on resin. And I just filled the molds up with this as well. 
I do overfill sometimes, so I have to scrape a little bit off because I wanted it to be nicely flat backed as well. And then I just took normal epoxy resin that I'd colored with different bits and pieces and pushed that in. Now, there were things that I would change about this, but I do love what it comes out like and it looks great. And if you want to know what I would change about this, then I'm talk about that in the full video. It's easy to make pieces of jewelry up using this with bezels or you could drill holes in in it and make it up like that put in some thread through it or jump rings or whatever you want to use but i like the bezels so a bit of five minute epoxy push that in nice and tight let it cure up for five or ten minutes and they're not going to go anywhere i think they look a little bit like marble and things like that like a lovely luscious stone like these a lot in at number three is cotton in resin. This is a new one on me. This was an experiment I did. So I made, again, some bases. Then got myself some beading cotton. Soaked that in UV resin. Laid that in patterns just on the actual cured base. And there's a little heart. This is a neurographic one I did. And then I went through and filled it up with UV resin. Cured that and then domed it over the top with UV resin. I love this neurographic one. I think it's definitely my favorite. Of course, it's so glittery and shiny that it really does catch my little magpie eyes. And these are the made up. The earrings, I think, have come out brilliantly as well. So at number two, we're nearly at the top one, is bubbles in resin. Now this is a UV resin, bit of bubble. And if you want to see what I do next, then check out the full video. Look at that beautiful texture in there. What you can do now is rub a bit of mica powder over those or rub a little bit of glitter, then put a bit more resin in and let that cure up. Again, it gives a great texture. You could do multicolored ones of these. You could do lots of different designs and it reminds me of a beautiful Aero chocolate bar. Mmm, yummy. And again, these are different and will really sell well. So my favorite one is number one, the rat tail. Again, soaking this in resin here and allowing that to really soak up that resin and then shaping it around. I was surprised at how well these come out and actually under light and under UV light, they glow beautifully. Once that was cured up, I then went over and domed it, added a few gems to it and just sparkled it up a little bit. Some I added glitter to, cured those up completely a little bit of nail varnish here, my new discovery as well. I absolutely love it. The glittery nail varnish, of course. And then let those cured up. Once they're cured up, I did dome them up as well because that gives them a lovely finish. And I used the resin out of my kit to dome them up. And they've come out really unique and very, very different. The rings weren't too much of a success, but I'm working on a way of improving those and getting a better result on those. And you'll see that video coming out soon. And this is the made up. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And ring that little bell, ring that little bell. And hit that thumbs up as well, it really helps my videos to get out there. If you wanna learn more about how to use UV resin to make some beautiful jewelry, then be sure to check out the video that's coming up in the card now. You won't be disappointed, bye.